Many people are so busy with things that have nothing to do with their purpose. They're running after money, but it's like money is developing wins and running away from them. Hello, my people. Welcome to this Cover the Reality series. And in today's episode, I'm going to tell you one way in which you can discover a purpose. Let's get to it. In the last episode of Discover the Radio, I gave you the explanation of what purpose is. Purpose is the intent of which God created you. There's a certain void that God wanted you to fill here on earth. Hence why he till I made you for that. You are the only one who can do that. So in today's episode, I'm going to tell you one way in which you can discover your purpose. And that is through your gift. Steve Harvey, by far, I, I think is the best explanation of what a gift is. He said that a gift is something that you do with the least amount of effort. It is also the natural ability to do something. We all know what happens when you take a ball and you place it in front of Lionel Messi. The guy who recently won the Ballon d'Or, we know the same about Christian Ronaldo was what happens when you take a football and place it in front of him. Those guys, they are gifted naturally. They have the gift of playing football. But the example that I want to give so much emphasis on, on today's episode is the example of Joseph from the Bible. Joseph had a gift of interpreting dreams. God gave him that. And it happened that one day when he was in prison, he met the chief butler and the baker. Those two men, they used to work for the king. They used to work for the king, and whilst they were still in prison, they had dreams. And they didn't know what those dreams meant. And Joseph was the guy for them. Since he had that gift of interpreting dreams, he interpreted the dreams of the two men. So the other servant died, and the other one left prison and went back to work for the king. And it happened that one of those servants who used to work for the king was restored to their position. So Pharaoh also had a dream that needed interpretation, and no man in all Egypt could do that. The wise men, they couldn't interpret the, the, the dream. But the servant told the king that there's a guy who's in prison who can help you interpret, interpret this dream. So Joseph was brought before Pharaoh, and he indeed used his gift to interpret that dream. Pharaoh was so impressed and he made Joseph to be the second in command of all Egypt. And because of that, because of that gift, it made Joseph to appear before a king. He was a guy, he was just a simple guy who was in prison, but because of him executing his gift, he managed to appear before the king and was made second in command. Basically, this means that he was made the prime minister of Egypt, which was the richest country in the world at that time. One thing that impresses me the most about the life of Joseph is that Joseph wasn't after, he wasn't after position, he wasn't after money, he wasn't after so many things. He just did his assignment. He just concentrated on that. He just executed his gift. And then position and money and him becoming the second in command of all Egypt came as an end result of him interpreting those dreams and executing his gift. So this is what we see in most people's life these days is that people they forget about their people. They're not focused on what on God's assignment. They're just focusing on, on looking for soft life. They don't care about fulfillment. They don't care about their peace. They find good jobs. They find good monies. But then at the end of the day, they're not fulfilled inside of them. In the next episode of Discover the Real You, I'm going to tell you another way in which you can discover your purpose. So make sure to tune in live on our Facebook page, Ray Maps, and also live on our YouTube channel, Ray Maps. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.